Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for an LG Multi-V system it has water coming through the ceiling Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech Today we have a service call for an LG Multi-V system We are currently in cooling mode Summer is upon us and they did have an access color oh looks like we gotta charge our battery anyways we did finally put in new access panels look at that the building did it with my advice leave a little space for our control panel and give as much space as we can underneath i wish it was pushed over a little bit more but that is way better these are the panels pretty nice so it's like sheetrock and uh oh wow there's no return air anyways <laughs> all right one thing so they said that when the cover was on water was dripping down onto the floor and it was a steady drip i don't see a steady drip right now but when i press this it has these two little indents here all right if you press it it's clearly some water sitting in there but it's not leaking just so you know, every unit does have these little indentations here. I personally don't know why. No screws actually go here because, oh, there goes a drip. No screws actually go here because right underneath is a foam, a styrofoam pan. So if you put a screw through there, you're gonna make a hole in the pan, which I've seen before, but it looks like there's actually no, no hole there unless it's not properly lined up. All right, it's definitely dripping. What is going on here? We got two refrigerant pipes, and then the thick one in the middle has a drain line that's insulated. Sometimes when the I, that thing is done, sometimes when the pan, um, the pump goes bad, you might get an error code there. Like if the float trips, like it goes all the way up. I don't see any errors there. We gotta see what's going on here. We gotta take off these colors. Personally, that's just such a poor design here. Why is this open? It's not leaking for anywhere else. We drop this cover, man. We're gonna get rain on here. I can already see. They were supposed to turn this off. It wasn't supposed to be cooling. But anyways, I kind of want to see it like this. I'm gonna take off this cover first. This is where our fans are. And then we can take this and kind of tilt it down because of course the other screws are behind here to fully take off this cover but we could at least bend it out and you could take out the pan and these screws are just gonna make it through so let's start by taking this off and taking as many screws as we can here honestly i don't want to have it running i'm going to turn it off for now i would like to catch the system while it's having the issue sometimes you reset things things change but anyways, I don't want to do this with the power on. At least when I'm taking off the uh, covers, so. Let's see, we're gonna get rained on with that panel, I know it. Can I get this like this? That comes out, wow. Oh, I just felt some rain. Oh man, we're gonna get rain down over here, taking this cover off. So there's water in here too and there. Pull this down a bit. Oh, it's... oh whoa, whoa. Oh, it's leaking everywhere, man. <laughs> Gosh, let's drain this out a little. Yep, right there. Can't fully even lean this pan out. This pan doesn't look good. I see right here pan is a bit chewed up is it enough to cause an issue I don't know is there anything I see besides like dirt I see another piece of the pan it's just foam there's another piece of the pan is there a hole in this thing I gotta pull this thing out I'm gonna get freaking rain on man there's about to be a water park in here this pan looks a bit messed up. Like right here, look, it's falling apart. Might be a bad pan. 
Oh man. This man, this must be full of water. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Let's bring this thing down and see if we see anything. First thing you want to do is inspect this pan. Although I don't see anything on this side, but look, you know this fat this pan? Surprise, I, I, I pulled these out before. This thing feels heavy. It's like a slit here. I wonder if water got inside of the pan and just started soaking up in underneath. Like over here, there's like a, slick plastic here the outside is just like foam and it is chewed up in a few spots it is chewed up in a few spots i mean they could use a new pan here too i mean it is kind of bad do i see anything though i mean this thing is pretty chewed up wow what the heck I wonder if anything is going through these holes. I would want to dry this up, fill this up with some water and possibly test that pump. Carefully visually inspect. I wonder if water seeped through this thing. If I press it, see, you can see the hole. That, it's going to be hard to see. But water's getting in this. I think this, it was going, it's going through the pan. There's a slit here. This thing is done. We want to make sure that the pump is actually working. It, it, it's got to be a bad pan. Inside here is our condensate pump. The water fills up. There's a float right there. This thing got pumps out through here and shoots out this way and down the drain. <laughs> okay, I turn the unit back on. You hear that screeching? That's the fan motor, that's the bearings on the fan motor. All right, if you look close, I don't know if you guys can see, I think you can see it right here. See how it's spinning. So this pump seems to be running all the time. But is it actually pumping out water? Look at that. Whoa, you just missed it. Water is actually coming down instead of it even being pulled. What the heck, I, I hope you caught that. The water just coming down. I'm on the LG's HVAC service dash business app. If you search up CH4, just type in the four, it'll give you info on the drain pump. So it's saying improper drain pipe location, no. Clogging of drain pipe, very much so. Drain pump, load switch fault, connection of float terminals abnormal or the bad indoor unit PCB. We must have had voltage because we saw it spinning. But it wasn't didn't have a good suction on there so that drain pipe could very much be clogged or the pump itself could be clogged i would hate to like go through the motions but water in the ceiling is a serious issue i still want to change that drain pan but let's investigate this pump a little further pulled out the two screws here i just wanted to see this thing a little better so if you look you got these two wires here okay that's that's gonna be this plug I took out here, I'll show you the diagram. That's what's sending the power. But if you look closely, this right here, the float switch, separate wire. And that's this guy right here. With the float switch down, you should be getting zero ohms. And with the float switch up, you should get OL. You said this it should be a shorter, so you should have continuity. Up here, you should basically break the continuity, right? That means it overflows. We'll probably shut this unit down. So here, we have the connection right here. Put your leads on the two little terminals there. And set your meter to resistance. Check the resistance of the float switch. Let's just go through the checks here. Float switch in a low position when it's down. There's two different types. But either way, you should get the same reading. Resistance must be zero ohms or sh a short. Basically, you would have continuity. And then if you put the flow switch up, resistance must be OL, open. Basically, you'd lose continuity. This is the flow switch down. This is the flow switch up. Okay, I hope you guys can see. I want to put my leads across the two terminals. I try to hold, hold this with one hand too. 
while I work the float. Come on. Got continuity. With the float down, 0.5 ohms. And if I move it up, we got OL, I'm gonna bring it down. 0.5 ohms, I'm gonna bring it up. OL, I mean, that's doing its thing. Basically, you wanna make sure the connector, everything is properly connected. The drain pump, CND pump, and then the drain, um, and then the connector float switch, CN float. Both of those two, I'm gonna make sure it's plugged in. They were, I saw the pump spinning, you know, so the pump spin, I just feel like it's just not being efficient. I think it's just, there might be some dirt there. And between the two different types of pump, type A or type B, we're using type A, it would use 220 volts AC, or type B would use 12 volts DC. And it's saying, after removing the float switch, check the drain pump power supply voltage. You wanna make sure basically it's getting the volts. I believe it is. Just my issue is getting up there I mean, keep in mind, my hand is just bigger than this space. I can't get my head up there to see. Where is it? It's, it's in here. Oh man, I can't really see it. It looks pretty dangerous, man. All right, got it spinning. We do got 208. There's a little tie wrap holding this in place. Let me see something. Okay. Just in case, water gonna back feed here. No. There's a small nut holding this in place. Look at that. Thing is done. Oh man. Yep. All right, guys. It's a little bit insane. Look, I, I attached it on the hook here. <laughs> I got this just dangling here. I want to put some water in here, see how much pressure is coming out of here. Honestly, it's got to be that pan, but huh, I'm already here, right? You know, surprisingly, that pan wasn't so full of water. So this thing probably was doing its job. It didn't seem like it when I kind of put some water to it before. So I really just think it's the pan, but the little uh, nut on the float was so brittle literally touched it and it cracked off so just a matter of time before this was done maybe you could find another nut for it i don't know figure out a way to attach it but i would replace the pump clear the drain change the condensate pan that should do it but i'm just <laughs> i'm experimenting right now don't try this at home folks i'm just gonna pour a bit let me see if you guys can see i'm gonna push this in Oh yeah, it's pushing water out. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's all right. Get a little water in here, look. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It kind of actually felt like some decent pressure. So my remedy here, just because this nut is broken on here, I don't trust it anymore. Change the pump. Clear the drain out, of course, push some nitrogen through it, test it, see what's up, change the pan, throw that thing back up there, it'll be good as new. My suspicion is this big crack right here. If I, maybe if I push down on it, you can kind of see it a little better. If I take a picture, you'll see it, but water is definitely seeping through here. Water slides down and into here. And it, and it drains out so what it does go through here and it's kind of a it's hard to see but there's a crack here too this pan is just done and if you look around all the edges it's just so worn out and honestly nasty i just took a picture of my phone i'll send you guys that so you guys can see but that's a pretty deep cut there and you really zoom in so you know water is going to make its way through everything it's got to be this pan and you saw the other you know directions around it you know th this thing is just chewed up man this thing is just chewed up seriously 
mold it on the side. I mean, you're definitely using new one. What is that? Look at that. My solution here is changing this pan because this thing is just gone at this point. Can't trust it anymore. Maybe you could find some sort of nut on there. I don't know. But at this point, the true long-term solution here, new pan, new pump, clear drain, It'll be just as good as new. This is a hotel room, so you can't rent out this room with water coming down the ceiling. So I'm kind of just gonna leave everything as is just to make the repair a little bit easier. So we're gonna have to order that directly from LG, their parts distributor. And that's pretty much it. New pan, new pump, right? Clear the drain and you're gonna be all right. We're gonna wrap this video up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and I'll catch you all next time.